Okay, got the record on now that we've got uh, everything situated. Hi, Carol, from your phone or to your phone. <laughs> and I can't even see you're logged in, Carol. Oh, there you are. I can refresh the chat. All right, there it is. Oh, at the lake house. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Time Warp Art. Um, happy Friday. I don't know if we want to say TGIF, but uh, you know how that goes. For some, that's good. For others, that's not. I've got a really busy weekend, so it's not so good for me. <laughs> but that's okay. Today is mine and my husband's anniversary. Yay. So we're uh, we're not going to celebrate till Sunday, though. Uh, my mom's birthday is tomorrow, so we're going to hit it all on Sunday. That's when the boys can be free to join us. So we'll have a little celebration on Sunday. Hey, Murda. Okay, weird noise outside. Hold on one second. Holy moly. Street sweeper? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, no, there he is. Okay, big noise. Sorry. Street sweeper. Of all days, he comes today. Thank you very much. I guess everyone has a busy weekend plan, trying to get their work done. The mailman came a few minutes ago. He never comes this early. <laughs> and now the street sweeper won't go away. Hurry up, <laughs> pesky thing. Oh my gosh, sorry about that. <sighs> City workers, what are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, thanks guys. Yep, 38 years. 38 years, can't believe it. Wow. <laughs> okay, so uh, on with the artwork now that the truck is kind of... I uh, hope it doesn't come back on the other side. Oh well, if it does, we'll just deal. It's fine. Okay, um, today we're going to cover an oatmeal container. Now what I use mine for is storing coffee lids. These are the lids that go on uh, the Dixie um, coffee cups, you know, the paper coffee cups. Uh, I've got the liner from the lids. I get these at uh, Costco. And I mean, there's hundreds of them in the box, right? And they come in a long uh, tube like section with all these stacked up. So this big old stack. So the paper just happens to fit right down inside this oatmeal container. Of course you trim it, you know. And of course I can't fit all the lids in one stack, but this is this is how I store them. So I store my my lids in here. But I'm I'm tired of confusing the oatmeal for the lids. When I go to get breakfast, I like grab the wrong container almost every time. So, I decided <laughs> I was going to cover this one. So the other one is still oatmeal, but this one is going to get covered and be decorative and, and that kind of thing. So um, it has a nice lid. Um, however, this is just like wax covered paper. Um, it's not actually plastic. So I was thinking to take a lid and reinforce it somehow. Now I've not tried to take this out of here. Uh, I don't know if that's even possible. it looks like it's like really in there so I don't know how they do that but it's like they maybe they heat sealed it or something but it's in there I mean it is totally sealed so I'm just going to put something over it you know and then on the other hand one of these lids might fit just perfectly now this one has an advantage because I'm going to put some kind of knob in the center so I can just pick it up. Okay, so the advantage to this being this one is a little loose. Now once I get it paper covered it might not be so I may have to choose another lid but um, if I want to just leave this sitting on the counter and just pick the lid up 
you know, it'll come right off without me having to use two hands and pick it up like, you know, pulling it off. Like this one fits, it fits, fits. Okay, so I would have to do that. And I would really rather, I think, just pick it up. Now I've got a couple more lids. And there's all kinds, of, I don't even know what these came from. Um, old coffee cans, perhaps. They were just in the lid drawer. I have a lot of, you know, I saved the plastic lids. See, this one's a little loose, too. This one is looser than the red one, so this might be the one I end up with. So one of these guys is going to end up with the, the knob, and then I can just lift it off without having to use two hands. <laughs> Say yay! Yeah. So that, I think, is what I would like to do. So, get rid of the sweater. Ooh, it's a little warm. So what we're going to do, then, is cover... <laughs> this oatmeal box and let me get my uh, stuff arranged here. I'm going to need the matte medium and the paper. So let me get rid of the rest of this stuff. I don't even need the oatmeal box right now. I'm going to use a base paper and I'll show you about that in a second. Let me see where I can put this other stuff. Okay, it's not exactly where I wanted it, but that's all right. It'll do. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Oh, let me get the lid back. Before I knock this over. Okay, let me get the lid back. All right, so what I've gotten is a base paper. So my box measures 6 and 3 quarters by 13. So I've done over that. So I've got a bigger piece of base paper to glue my torn pieces of paper too. So this is a little little taller and a little more, you know, wrap around. So I've got a little leeway to play with. And set that down. And I've got um, my base paper. Alright. Let me see if I can't grab another mat because I'm going to get that one messed up and then I want to change it quickly. So of course anytime I say I need something quickly it's going to take me a minute. <laughs> Naturally. It won't come out of the package. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh okay you guys are going to ask me about these. All right I got these off of Amazon. They're squares of the baking baking sheet like our um, thing we get from Ranger, the craft mat. That's what that's what these are. And there's a bunch. And these are made for a dehydrator. I got them off Amazon. If you look for dehydrator liners, you'll find them. And then you get a whole lot of them in the package. There's like ten in the package or something. All right, put those back out of the way because they're frothy. Okay, so. Um, Okay, I'll answer that in just a second. Um, let's see, what else was I going to say? Um, the liners. Oh, yeah, the, I've lined my table with some of these things. And I've put the, you know, the painter's tape to keep them together. Since I don't have yardage, I've, I've got nowhere to get yardage. So they're 14 by 14, I think. Hang on one second, and I'll verify that for you. I think I'm remembering that right. Yes, 14 by 14. Yeah. Okay, blow the nose already. Hold on. Yeah, it's a really nice size. The 14 by 14 is really nice size, and uh, I don't even remember what I was looking for on Amazon. And these popped up, you know how they run across the bottom of the screen, all the little things you can also buy, you know? <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> this was one of those things. So um, I thought, oh, what is that? <laughs> 
my son has a dehydrator, so I was kind of curious. So I've, I've got several sets anyway, but they're really great and you can cut them down. So I have one that I cut to put in a, a notebook. So you punch your holes and you put it in the notebook and so you always have your, your piece. Always have your piece. Okay. All right. That's my enabling for the day. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> okay. My base paper is just a piece of brown wrapping paper. You can use paper bag or, you know, any, because it's more than 12 inches. So I had to go to another source of paper. So, um, I got a piece of the wrapping paper I had saved from all the, um, Christmas presents. You know, I, I did a lot of online ordering, so it's like, yeah. Okay. Well, the price has gone up. Okay, but that's still good, huh? <laughs> I mean, you get nine of them. Yeah, that's still really good. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this base page is start laying down this torn book pages. So I went to my stack of text blocks and just started pulling out some paper, and I've already torn them up. So, um, yeah. So now I'm going to use my matte medium and I am saving a Dawn bottle <laughs> to try the matte medium in there. I thought, oh, yay, that's a great idea. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> and I want a smaller one for travel. That would be excellent. All right, so I've got my matte medium brush here in the water. And I guess I better get a paper towel. I recycle my paper towels. You know, you wash your hands and you dry them on a paper towel, and let it dry, fold it up, use it for painting. Okay, so I am just going to start putting some down here. And I know I'm going to get this all over my hands, but that's okay. And I don't mind if it goes over the edges either because I want to. Um, want to be able to trim it anyway. So that's a good thing. So we're going to just go ahead and go over the edges. Smooth it out. Don't go over it too many times. So I'm just going to, you know, I put some on the paper, put some on the piece of paper. No, put some on the paper, put some on the backing. Let's just say it that way. And I just want to overlap a little bit. Okay, and move along. Another piece. Just decide which side you want to use and just put it down. Now, there's a two-fold project here. I've got also got my Project Life homework, and uh, I need to do that, some of this on the background on that as well. So I'll get two birds with one stone, so to speak. <laughs> Getting this this way. Oopsie daisy. Over we go. I don't like blank areas, so I'm going to have to cover that with something. Oh, here we go. Perfect answer right here. Which side? This side. Whoop. And I know I'm going to have this all over my hands, but that's okay. I was prepared to do that. <laughs> so it's been a busy week here. Um, lots to do. Lots going on. Granddaughter had a birthday. My mom's is tomorrow. Today's our anniversary. Lots of things going on. Now when I cover this, what I want to end up with is a background that I'm going to use deli paper and stamp on deli paper and uh, it'll just be decorative. I don't know if we're going to have, I don't think I want to put a single 
um, what I want to say, a single decorative element. I, I think I want to keep it um, mixed up, um, keep it as a background so that any way the container is turned on the countertop, it's not going to be a problem. So I don't have to worry about which way is front. It doesn't really matter. I mean, the, the labels are round anyway, so, you know, I mean the labels. The canister is round and the lids are round, so it doesn't really matter which way it goes. You guys still talking about these things? <laughs> Yeah, it's made for, they're made for a dehydrator, you know, a food dehydrator. Yeah, that was, oh, that was the best thing. That's awesome find. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> that was a happy accident. I can't see down in my container. This is where that uh, Dawn thing would come in real handy. Just squirt it down. I don't have to worry about dipping it. And can I see how much is in there? And, I don't want to get too much for the brush, etc., etc. You know how that goes. Okay, I'm going to move to the corner. I haven't done this in a while. It's kind of fun. All right. And it doesn't matter about the other side, it's going to peel right off of this anyway. So we are good there. Back up here. Of course, everything is sticking to me pretty well here. Oh, that's a thick one. Yeah, this brown wrapping paper is, uh, it was actually a um, filler in something I got. I don't remember what I got now, but there was a whole bunch of it. I think the box they had was too big or something. Anyway, it was full of this paper. So naturally, I uncrinkled it and folded it up. <laughs> That's what we do, right? <laughs> Is what do we do? Oh, bad. Don't want that one. That was bad. Go away. <laughs> totally blank side. That was not good. dig around in this stuff so I can't pick up something different. Yeah, if anybody knows any tips on how to get this stuff off of you, please let me know. Because <laughs> this is like hangs on for days sometimes. I can't get it off. Especially when I have dry skin like now. And I may get kind of quiet. I'm uh, got low energy today. I don't know what's up with that, but I need my energy for this weekend. I'll tell you. Too many things to do. Not enough hours in the day. And in my case, not enough energy to go around. Still working on that. I like that side. Push it over there. There we go. 
doesn't seem to be bothering the paper being very wet. Doesn't bother the paper, doesn't bother me. Just get it covered. One way or the other, it works fine. I don't know what I did with my French text, or I would have gotten that out too. I couldn't find it. <laughs> I know it's somewhere. Oh, my nose, I tell you. The allergies around here. The cedar is terrible. Wake up every morning with. I can't see and sneezing, etc., etc. Not pleasant. But I still love my my city. Wash, 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 then pick. Yeah, well, <laughs> kind of peel it off like a sunburn, right? <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes that's what you got to do. You know? Doesn't want to come off. It's good stuff. Now I'm wondering on some of this how it's it's dark and light. See, I like the different colors it's making. Of course, it'll be, look a little different once it's dry too. And of course, you could always put scrap wood paper in this mix which never hurts. Um, I may do a little bit of that. Did I put the wrong side down? Of course I did. <laughs> no air bubbles. Yeah, if I had somewhere that I could leave all this stuff laying out, I'd probably do a whole lot of these kind of things at once. And you've noticed I'm not using real big pieces. If your pieces are too big, it just, I don't know, it doesn't look right. I mean, you could do it that way. Nothing wrong with it, it's just doesn't look quite right. Okay, now I'm getting off camera, so I'm going to peel up the side and scoot over. Now I don't want to be sticking to my box. All right, there. Got baby wipes around here somewhere. Kind of like a puzzle. Oh, got two pieces there. Save that bit. Hope I'm staying in camera a little better than I did last week. 
I backed it up some. I think last week I had it a little too close. Kept getting off camera. It's like, oh man. And the good thing about this book text is the ink is not coming off. Now, if I did a modern day book, the ink would be all over the place. You guys have probably run into that. Nice thing about the older books, you don't have that kind of mess to worry about. Oh. When I was in high school, I used to love to smell a new book. Just loved it. Books nowadays, they don't smell like books. They smell like cheap ink. And of course, there's ebooks now, so. <laughs> Need I say more about that? <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, I love my ebooks because I can read them on my phone and my tablet and the computer without having to hold a heavy book, especially when I injure something. I don't have to hold a heavy book. Not to mention storage space. Oh my. I read a lot. Love to read. I used to read a book a day. Of course, that was before children and work. And business. Yeah, I had my own business for 11 years. I so didn't read a whole lot. <laughs> and then grandbabies and then all of that stuff. It's like, okay. <laughs> so now... I read every chance I get while I have the time, because I know the time is coming when my time is going to be limited again, and that's okay. And so I'm doing what I want now. <laughs> Pretty much do what I want right now. So when somebody needs taken care of, I can just hop over and do that. I got this great backpack also from Amazon. Um, it has a pocket for the tablet, a little padded pocket for the tablet. It has a padded pocket for the laptop. And then I can put my emergency uh, food kit and test kit and stuff in there. I have a little insulated lunch kit that I use for that. I used to use a little blue cooler, but it was too big. It's just too big. So now I have a little, little lunch kit that I keep in the backpack and it just stays there. Of course I have to remember to, you know, refill the snacks, but I've managed so far to not forget too too badly. <laughs> Almost done. Then we move along to Project Life. Or Life Book, not Project Life. I'm doing that too. Jeez, so many things with the word life in it. Documented life. 
life book project life oh my goodness <laughs> okay here is the first layer let's move over it real quick get some of the lumpies out not that that matters but it will dry a little faster if there's not too much lumpy all right so here's my first layer. Let's see if I want to add, I can go ahead and add um, some scrapbook paper, but I got to try to wipe my hand just a little bit or I'll be sticking to everything. And I have to blow my nose again. So, you know, I kind of have to, <laughs> I'll have tissue stuck to me if I don't <laughs> drop my hands a little bit first. Oh goodness. I hate it when it gets on your fingernails. That's the hard part. You can't get that off. Oh, I could try polish remover. <laughs> Thanks, Dana. <laughs> Glucose tablets. Well, yeah, I've got that too, but um, I have found that glucose tablets don't work fast enough. I know they're supposed to, but the ones I have don't. So I keep a roll of Smarties. I keep some Smarties. You know, the little tablets of Smarties. I keep those. Helps. Sometimes it just, you know, I eat three or four of those little things, and sometimes that'll do the trick. If I wait, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. In. But I have learned if I don't carry all this stuff with me, something happens. So it's kind of like warding off evil if I have everything I need. <laughs> okay, I gotta blow my nose again. All right, I'm let, letting this dry just a little bit, but I wanna get some scrapbook paper. My nose just will not quit running. Making me crazy. Okay, so I've got this big uh, lost and found thing. It is huge. Really huge. I got it on sale at Hobby Lobby uh, quite a while back. Well, it's probably been a couple of years, I guess. Anyway, um, so it's got all these different papers. Of course, I don't have any place to set it down over here. I have to go behind me. On the other counter. Let's see if I can find something. I kind of want to do like a shabby chic thing. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so I'm just going to do some ripping and tearing on this. So I think I have this little bicycle. I bought a bicycle. So I think I'm going to use a little bicycle. I'm going to stick to soft colors. I don't want, you know, a lot of color. So I like a little piece of this. Got a subtle stripe to it. Just a piece of it. Maybe two pieces. It's too big. I want them smaller. Okay, so maybe a couple pieces like that. any big designs, you know, just just a subtle thing or two, that's all. We like that. I'm sorry you guys can't see this, but there's no room on the counter. <laughs> No polka dots, no stripes, nothing too dark, just something 
music. Oh, that's a nice one. Oops. This paper pad's heavy. It's knocking stuff over. Ah. <laughs> okay, there. Have it your way. Take up the count. Okay, make use of that. And I could use these same papers in my lifebook homework. Just other pieces, different pieces with color in them. I'm still hearing that darned uh, street sweeper. I don't know where he's at, but that thing is noisy. Still hearing it. I don't want that big of a piece, so let me have a little one, and okay. that piece, and me see one like that. Okay. All right, that should do it, because it's not a really big, big surface. Okay, so here we go again, getting messy. And it doesn't matter which way it goes, or where it goes, you just want to kind of I know I'm going to have some overlap, so I don't want to get it on the very edges on both sides. I might do the edge on one side, but not the other. Need something there. See, it's just a subtle, really subtle color. Not a lot. And it's wherever I think it needs something else. I'll stick it there. Sure, I get all those little edges, and I have a, with a bicycle. I just happen to have a couple bicycles, so it's so cute. So I'll grab another bicycle and I'll stick it over here. Okay, and this is like a postage mark. Bump the camera, sorry. I wanted to grab that little piece there. I'm going to go ahead and toss it in the bin. Now quit trying to pick it up. <laughs> okay. Oh, getting sloppy. Good thing I got my old shirt on. Let's see, where am I going to put this one? I think I'll put it down here. No, no, take that back. I'm going to put it over here. And I'll put this one over here. How's that? Then I'm to put this stripe stripe together. There. That's better. Some roses. Okay, now when this is dry, I might... I might shoot some distress ink over it to see, maybe highlight the edges of the paper. We'll see how that looks on a sample and then we'll, we can do that. All right, so I'm going to now move this and bring over my life book homework. I'll put that in the water. I'm going to move this one and I'll grab another sheet of this backing here. Uh, if I can find a place to set it down. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> it's just so it's not sticking to anything. All right, and another one of these squares. They're so slippery. They do not want to come out. All right, there we go. 
All right, so here's another one. And now I'm getting my life book homework. I think I'm going to tear it off the tablet, though. Okay, so here is my week one life book homework started. And I'm going to tell you guys, this is the first time I have painted a face. Okay? I painted the face. No color pencil. <laughs> painting and I know my eyebrows wonky I'm gonna bring her hair down and cover that up okay so what I need to do is put some pieces of the paper on the background behind her This is the part that hung me up last year, actually painting the face. I don't know why. <laughs> I would just had a mental block. I don't know. But I think I'm over it now. So I'm just going to collage some of this onto the background. And then it gets colored in. So this just goes, I know some of you guys are in Lifebook and you know what I'm talking about. So. I actually did the meditation this time. That was pretty cool actually. I hadn't done that before with anyone, so that was pretty neat. thought I'd go out whole hog this year and do everything and hopefully things will let me do what I need to do life won't get crazy again so I'm keeping my fingers crossed and working my way through day by day it's all any of us can do so far so good I just have to work on my energy level I mean you guys can tell when I don't have any energy because <laughs> you can hear it I didn't realize that until somebody said something and then I went back and listened to one of my recordings I'm like oh my <laughs> Yeah, you can definitely tell. It's like now I get kind of quiet and then I talk slower and <laughs> yeah, it's it's a difference. It's weird, but yeah. Definite difference. I didn't realize it, you know. So I don't know exactly what else I'm going to put on here, but this is a start. And then, of course, it's got to dry. Let's And I figured the best way for me to follow Lifebook and keep up is just kind of do what she does and or they do and um, not overthink, you know. All right, I think that's all I want to do for that one and let that dry. I haven't done any any um, you know shading and details with the pens yet, so. I've still got a lot more work to do on this. But the face is painted. Yay! <laughs> okay, well, let me pick that up. And oh, let me see. What am I going to do with it? Um, space! I need space! 
space. The final frontier. Yeah, well, maybe around here. <laughs> Yay. All right. Oh, messy, messy, messy. Okay, let me um, clean up a little. Oh, man. I made another hole in the mat. I'm so bad about that. And of course, I stuck the other sheet on my back. I stuck the other sheet on the um, baby wipe container. So naturally, I have to move it again, get the baby wipes. All right, I'm going to bring them over here. OK, I'm going to see if I can't clean up just a little bit here. Oh, bye, Myrta. I keep forgetting to look at chat. Yeah, I did Lifebook the first year, 2012, and then I didn't do it last year because, man, I, life was nuts last year, so uh, that didn't work out too well for that. So I would have been really frustrated had I had that hanging over me, too. So self-imposed deadlines, yeah, but that's how I roll. <laughs> Okay, oh, I have to wipe this off. So let me grab this. Get off. What do I do with the baggie? Oh, there it is. Lid. There's the lid. There it is. <laughs> All right, so I am going to. Yeah. All right, that back on the shelf. Okay, I got uh, some of it off. Let me a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys my planner. I've actually worked in it and I'm all caught up. Well, almost all caught up. I have uh, the pictures for the second week, for the, the, what they call it, selfie. So I've got the pictures. I just haven't put them in yet. I know where they're going, but they're not in there permanently yet. But I'll show you what uh, what I've done so far. Oh, Barb, I'm sorry to hear about the kitties being sick. Well, I hope they're on the road to recovery. Uh, yeah, okay, good. Oh, my goodness. Maybe you'll tell us about it on your stream today. Let's see what's going on with those guys. I hate it when the kitties get sick because they can't tell you what's wrong. Okay, good as I can do, I think, right now. So, I get obsessive about it if I'm not careful. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, let me get some of this other stuff out of the way, and we'll, hopefully, that other piece won't get dry enough where we can do some stamping. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, here's the planner. Make sure it's got a, Okay, no sticky. All right, so. I tried and tried to get a pen I was satisfied with. I had to go back to the paper mate, just the regular, like a Bic, you know, just regular ink. Just wasn't satisfied with anything. Okay, so I won't go through all that, but here's the, the month. That list is still hanging around. And then on the uh, page before January 1st, right under the calendar, I put... Um, that background paper I made, okay, and then some photos of my spinning wheel. So there's my spinning wheel sitting on the on this counter. It's I I need to take a better picture. It's because my um, pegboard and stuff is in the way in the back. You can't really see, and that's just a close up to remind me the configuration of my washer spacers <laughs> for the spindle. So. 
Okay, and this is of course day one, day two, and on and on. And I did a little flip out. Um, this was not a homework assignment for for that. But, whoops, I showed you guys my door. I'm just tipping on something over here. Uh, I showed you guys my door. Uh, I haven't put it in. It's it's going over here in the front. Um, but this is a little flip out, and there's a little story of this historical marker when we took. Uh, the oldest granddaughter home. Uh, she stayed with us, and we, when we took her home, we uh, saw this historical marker out by their new house, and so we had to stop and see what it said. And uh, so I put the story. I googled it and put the story in there, and then we took her. That's my granddaughter. We took her. Home. She's got her cell phone texting of course and uh, that's hubs <laughs> and then this is the selfie see I have my hands and oops, there's two pictures there's the other one this is from the streamathon New Year's Eve streamathon stream so um, that's going to go there and then here's a record temperature for us uh, 15 degrees but actually that was when I woke up it was 15 um, about seven, and I think the low was like twelve, and that never happens here. <laughs> that never happens here. Uh, and this is I finished spinning the singles for from that roving, and so I stuck my label in there so I won't lose it. Um, let's see, there was fog. Uh, I had Jimmy John's. I had Jimmy John's three times because I ordered three. Um, I streamed on that day. Um. I worked on various things, and this is another little um, flap, I guess you could call it. It's a flap, but there's pictures on both sides. Um, one is kind of personal. I won't get into that, but um, I was trying another wheel modification uh, of a different wheel from the Porter wheel, and it... Uh, didn't work out so but I still have the wheel uh, I had some oranges so I stuck the, the orange stickers in there and I finished um, let's see okay now what did I do with this I want to show you guys this full bobbin before I started plying what did I do with it oh good grief hello there you are I had to put it in the bag Yes, I love to journal. I, I write a lot. <laughs> there it is. And you can see it's very small. Of course, that's not as small as some of it is, but this, I'm, I think this is going to be a shawl. This is not the sock yarn. The sock yarn's on the, the wheel I made. But um, it's a gradient. It goes from uh, purple to blue into green. So it's it's really pretty. It's a, uh, about the colors of these ba this bag is probably about right, but it's a gradient, and so I'm going to chain ply or Navajo ply to keep the colorway. I don't want to mix it all up. So anyway, that's that waiting to be plied, and then um, this was another assignment. Use your mail from from the documented life project. Use your mail. So just so happened, I just got the mail in when I read the email, the um, the link to see what the site was. So I made a pocket out of the see-through envelope, and it's a flap. And I went on a little nature walk in the yard, and I made this little guy. Let's see if I can get the camera to behave. Oh, now it's showing me that. Okay, wait a minute. Don't show me this again. My quality's fine. You can't have the bandwidth. Okay, there. <laughs> All right, now. What? Did I suddenly start speaking a foreign language? Oh, <laughs> that's funny, Barb. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, there's another question. Um, what motivated you to build your own spinning wheel? I just wanted to see if I could do it. Yeah, I just wanted to see if I could do it. That's, that's cool. I mean, it's really cool. Um, I've, you know, I've done woodworking a little bit, 
but no, nothing like this. Total, total from this. I mean, I cut the boards myself, everything. So, <laughs> well, I'll have to give y'all a lesson one of these streams, but more of about the spinning. <laughs> but anyway, I went out in the yard and uh, picked up a leaf and a twig and decided they needed to be stitched. So, this must be, must be something I have seen somewhere because it was in my head and it's like it wanted to come out that day. So, yeah. So, anyway, that's it, just goes into my stack of stuff. Let's see, it goes over here. Okay, so let me put this back. Lay it on top because it, I just laid on top of something I don't want to stack anything on because I'm a stacker. Oh boy, do I stack. Bad, bad, bad. So, anyway, here's this envelope. So, um, I was staring at this envelope and I saw an owl. So, I sketched him. <laughs> the background of that paper is just like little random marks. But I saw an owl, so I sketched him. And then I had a piece of this uh, scrap over in my Rolodex, and I pulled that out. And this was a scrap of paper that I had, I don't know what I had cut something off of it, I don't know. And I had, these were in also in the Rolodex, and so I grabbed that and just stuck them in a the little pocket. Taped that all down. So that was an assignment done. Um, more texting uh, people's phone numbers um, so that way I won't lose them and this is where I am today is here and I've already written a Dalai Lama quote in there for today he said on Twitter today he said you can't help someone just by making a wish to do so you have to take action I like that idea that's really cool I like that uh, and somebody commented on my tabs yeah see here's all the the tabs I did I had some printed paper. Let me see if I can. Well, that one's covered. Wait a minute. Let me grab one back here. Okay, here's one right here. All right. So I had, let me see, where's my camera? There it is. <laughs> I had uh, printed um, an art journal page background and I took the label maker. I don't know if I told you, you know, what I was going to do, but. I took the little label maker and um, did all of the three letter month names and then I just cut them into strips, into one inch strips and used the corner rounder um, and then I put, um, if you can see they're shiny, yeah there's the shiny, I put packing tape over them. So I ran the paper itself through the Xyron, so it's sticky on both sides, and then it's got the pack the um, packing tape over that, which I cut into one inch strips, and then I rounded the corners. So it's kind of protected because if I stick it in my bag, you know, the tabs are the first thing that's going to get messed up. So it gives them a little more strength, and uh, I print it onto cardstock, so it gives them a little more strength. So that's pretty, yeah, that's pretty sturdy. So I don't think it's going to get, you know, messed up. And I went ahead and put washi tape um, through February and started into March. And I thought, okay, wait a minute. I'm getting tired of doing this now. <laughs> so I'll do some more later. But um, anyway, I'm, I'm going good and hopefully I'll, uh, I'll keep it up. So we'll, we'll have to cross our fingers. And like I said, the only pen I was satisfied with was a regular ballpoint pen. Uh, who knew? So this elastic, for some reason, is already stretched out, probably because it's from 2008. But um, anyway, I keep my pen, you know, I'll keep it up here. And then when I take the elastic off, I grab the pen and just pull the elastic. This is my, for the moment, because I have notes on the other side, this is my um, page marker. Because I don't, I don't like that ribbon that comes in here, so I've tucked it in the back to get it out of the way. But... I really like how this is working out. So. so yay. And it's already pretty, you know, getting pretty fat. So putting pictures and stuff. And I'm using my little pogo printer, which is oh, I've covered it with scrap of paper. Hang on. Move stuff. Yeah. This little guy. That's the pogo. Uses the zinc paper, the heat. Hello the heat um, paper and it makes the little two by three 
stickers, so they're already sticky on the back. So that's what I'm doing with that. Um, is there a place for this in your new backpack? Yes, there is. There's a pocket for my journal. <laughs> Absolutely, right across from the pocket that the tablet sits in, there's another pocket, and this fits in there perfectly. And there's also a place right along that for uh, extra pens and things. So, cool. Okay, Barb, see you later. <laughs> yes, I am recording. The little red, little red thingy is still going. All right, let me check on the progress of my, uh, I've got something to look at. Check on the progress of the other paper. I think it's still pretty wet. I don't think I can stamp on it yet. No, not yet. It's really, really wet. Not happening. Still pretty wet. Okay, so let me see if I can hurry it a little bit. I dry in the back just a bit. And like I said, I did the paper a little bit larger, so if it shrinks any, that's okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it dry enough this way. But we'll see. I'm going to have to do a separate um, video to show you the spinning wheel because my camera setup is a little more complicated than usual. <laughs> and uh, I can't take it down without a lot of hassle. So I'll just have to do a separate video and show you that. Just put it on YouTube. So I love my wheel. And I can try to stick it up here, but <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's still too wet. Okay, it's just really, really wet. So it doesn't look like we're going to get to do any stamping on this, but I can do stamping on the deli paper. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now I can get that done. Okay, now what did I do with the deli paper? Um, <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to run to the kitchen to get the deli paper. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, this paper's noisy. <laughs> okay, so, oh, the camera's gonna go crazy. It's white. Uh, I want to, there's two sides to this deli paper, and I get this stuff at Costco. It's in a blue and white package. Uh, I'm gonna need to bring that in here because this is gonna go crazy. Uh, but there's a really slick side, and then there's a rough side. So the wax, there's more wax on one side than the other. And I use this in the kitchen. I use it in the microwave. I cover stuff in the microwave or wrap stuff in the microwave. Or, you know. And then when I need some art supplies, I go to the kitchen. <laughs> I thought I got some earlier, but I can't find it. So anyway, I want to stamp on the not so waxy side. Okay. Uh, let me get my um, pad. And apparently I need a new slip sheet. Uh, let me see if I can pull something out of the recycle bin. Okay. 
All right, I just put a, got a slip sheet. Just pulled out an ad about something. Oh, was it a truck? Yeah, they want my truck. They only buy a new one is what they want. I'm like, no, I don't need a new truck. Okay, so I like to use uh, fun foam under my stamping. And I don't know how good my stamping is going to be on this high counter. I usually do it over there on the low desk. But this is what we're working with. So <laughs> we're going to do it this way. Okay, now I'm going to keep this here to focus the camera. Otherwise, the white makes it go wonky. All right, so um, archival ink. Okay, and get that out of the way. Ooh, snack. Okay, some stamps. So I pulled out leaves, bicycles, and some floral, a floral set. I don't even, I lost the paper, so I don't even know what this is from. There you can see it. I have no idea what, what company that's from. But these two are Hero Arts. So I thought I'd use these on the deli paper, and then I can... Um, tear them apart and choose which ones go get collaged onto the container. Okay. So let me start with these guys. Some of them I've used, some of them I haven't. Like that one I've never used. And I don't want to use it now, so I'm just going to leave it there. So I think what I might do is just do a Stick a bunch of them on here. Some flower. Some leaf. Never picking this off before, so it's kind of difficult. Come on. There he goes. Butterfly. I might like red flower. I don't need to say happy birthday, and I don't want what does that say? Thinking of you. No, I don't want that on there. Okay. Let's see how does this open? It comes up. Um, hmm. How does that work? Okay, now which bicycle do I want? Um, oh, no. I want this guy. All right, so I'm going to put him here with this one. And then, let me see. Oh, tricycles. Here, let's get this one, even though it's a man's bike. That's okay. We'll work with it. <laughs> okay, and then I'll do some of the leaves in a minute. All right. So let's just see what we can do here. Now, I'm not going to ink all these up at the same time. one at a time. I just get them, if I get them placed, then that's a good thing. Then I don't have to be doing that. I can just stamp. Oh! <laughs> See, I didn't think about that. Hmm. I guess I have to clean these off a little bit. And this undersheet will get used for something later. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut those off. Put them behind me. Okay, so that wasn't such a great idea. But that's okay. 
Not going to worry about it. All right. Okay, the deli paper does move a little bit, so you have to pay attention to that fact. Let me see if I can get another impression by huffing on it. Yeah, that's not too bad. That, that'll work. Hmm. Not too bad. And it will smear if you touch it, so don't touch it. Because <laughs> it's still wet. Did I lose my chat, guys? This hasn't moved in a while. Somebody say something. Ooh, I love this. Ugh, look at that. Let's see if I can get a third impression. These are awesome stamps. Oh, look at that. Cool. <laughs> I like that. Oh, nice. That's a cool stamp. I like that. Okay. It's like a botanical illustration. That's cool. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to do some bicycles. And we're going to do these one at a time. We've got to learn that lesson. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Let me know the chat's not stuck. Okay, mm, that's a good impression. That's all right. Not a big deal. I'll push on it with that last one. Okay, that's pretty good. Different stamp set. <laughs> oh, forgot the little bee. Do the little bee. And you do have to tap on with these clear stamps. You do have to tap. You get a better impression if you do. That one's a little fuzzy. But uh, man, I wish I knew what stamp set that was. I definitely buy one of those people's stamps. Those are cool. Okay, now the little bike. I have used this one before. Awesome. Okay, now let's do some of these other sheets. Let's see if I can get centered here. And I'm out of room. <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks, Anna. Yeah, I was trying.